Hello brothers and sisters in Christ, you know guys, if you can hear some noise, it's just my, my pug, Peanut. <laughs> hey, who's that? <laughs> but you know guys, I'm just making this message that's on my heart. Satan is trying to dominate your mind. You know guys, hallelujah. Satan is trying to build a fortress in your mind so that he can destroy you. You know guys, we're all familiar with the scripture that says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty in the pulling down of strongholds. You know guys, this verse goes hand in hand with the scripture that says, take every thought captive in obedience to Christ that exalts itself above the knowledge of the truth. Hallelujah. You know guys, and this is also why Paul says that we need to renew our mind. You know guys, hallelujah. When you become born again, you get a brand new spirit. Your spirit becomes born again. But your soul, your mind, your will and emotion is still the same as it was before you were born again. You know guys, that's why we need to renew our mind. You know guys, and the point I want to make is today is some of you are revisiting memories of the past. Some of you are revisiting traumas of the past. It could be, you know, key moments in your life where you were traumatized or key moments in your life where, you know, um, someone attacked you or someone did something wrong against you. You know, guys. And the devil, or demons rather, that work for the devil will try to put that, that memory back in your mind to play it over and over and over again so you're revisiting it. You know guys, hallelujah. But once you become born again, you learn quickly that demons will attack this, will attack your mind in order to attack your walk with God and your life. But you know guys, you learn quickly. Take the thoughts captive. You know, rebuke them. You know, tell them to get out in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And if you can hear snorting, like a pig, it's just my dog. You know, sometimes when he's in a funny position, he just makes all these noises. But you know, guys, I just want to point out that when you start remembering, you know, thoughts in the past where you were defeated, when you start remembering, you know, um, times where people did you wrong, when you start remembering your failures, or you start remembering even as a born-again believer, things that, you know, the enemy tries to make you believe, you need to take that thought captive. You need to rebuke it. Because the enemy is using that against you to try to derail your faith. To try to derail your walk with the Lord. Hallelujah. You know guys, in Ephesians 6 it talks about the full armor of God. I know, you, you know we've all heard people preach on it a million times. But you know guys, that scripture is almost like when Jesus prays. Be our Father, give us our daily bread, you know guys, our daily bread, you know, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, you know guys, our daily bread is our relationship with God, it's the presence of God, it's talking to God, it's, you know, fellowship with God, you know guys, and a part of that daily bread is putting on the helmet of salvation, we know in Ephesians 6 it talks about, you know, the helmet of salvation, the shoes of peace, the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, and the sword of the Spirit. You know, guys, when you start to exercise, you know, taking thoughts captive, when you start spending time with God, you're putting on that helmet of salvation, that helmet that will guard your mind. You know, guys, hallelujah. You will notice if you spend time with God, during the day, you know, guys, the enemy can't really attack your mind because the Prince of Peace is, you know, just giving you amazing peace. It's like there's a there's a protection on your mind, almost like a helmet of salvation, you know, guys. But if you don't spend time with the God, if you don't spend time with the Lord, then the enemy is is easily attacking your mind, and you know, you really have you know thoughts are coming in everywhere, and you you have to take them them captive you have to rebuke those thoughts say no in jesus name no in jesus name no you know like just like jesus in the in the desert when he was 40 
fasting for 40 days. You know, guys, um, you know, the enemy says this and you say, no, it is written. It is written. You use scriptures, you know, guys, to, to break those lies in Jesus' name. But there is a war going on in, you know, there is a war going on for your mind. And I know some of you can testify that this message is for you tonight. I know some of you are in the fight for your life. You know, just by, you know, daydreaming, you know, all of a sudden you're in La La Land and you're thinking about all, the devil's, you know, replaying all these memories of the past. The devil's replaying, you know, thoughts in your head, trying to, you know, build a stronghold in your mind. You know, guys, hallelujah. But when you start, you know, spending time with God, when you start praising the Lord, when you say, get out, you unclean spirit, when you say, I break that lie in Jesus' name, you know, when you start saying this, it's like a big wrecking ball coming and demolishing those strongholds, those thoughts in your mind, and you will feel peace. But you know, guys, sometimes, you know, guys, it's not as easy as just saying, get out in Jesus' name. Sometimes you might have to say it a hundred times. Sometimes you may have to say it only once and, you know, those thoughts go. But sometimes you really have to press in, you know, guys. And it's on my heart for someone tonight that someone is, you know, just in a fight for their life, you know, in their thought life, you know, guys. Because if the enemy can con control this, he can control everything, you know, guys, hallelujah. If the enemy can control your mind, then he controls everything, how you react. How you act, what you do, what you say, what you what you believe, you know, guys. That's why, you know, guys. We need to take thoughts captive. You need to understand that negative thoughts, demonic thoughts, memories, bad memories from the past, playing over and over again, is not just your mind. You know, guys. I believe they're demonically inspired, and you need to pick up the sword of the spirit and start cutting those lies, saying no in Jesus' name. Know in Jesus' name. Get out in Jesus' name. And you need to pray and put the helmet of salvation on your head. Hallelujah. You know, guys. And while you're there, pick up the shield of faith and it, will, and it will quench those fiery darts from the enemy. You know, guys, I don't know who this message is for tonight. But, you know, guys, it's in my heart that someone is just sitting there. You know, and they're, and they're saying, oh, God, help me. God, help me. And they've got all these thoughts and they're... They're, you know, daydreaming and they're, they're just being attacked by demons. You know, God gave you the Bible. God gave you His Holy Spirit. You know, guys, and He expects you to fight. He expects you to pick up the sword of truth, the sword of the Spirit, and to cut those lies. He expects you because He has given you all power and all authority over your enemies, over these demons, that you can take these thoughts captive. And you can say, this is a lie in Jesus' name. I rebuke it. Get out. You know, guys, you've got to, you know, take charge over the thoughts in your mind. You know, guys, he expects you to do what Paul says. You know, guys, to read the Bible, to read some scriptures here and there, to renew, renew your mind. You know, guys, hallelujah. You know, guys, praise the Lord, hallelujah. You know, guys, when people become born again, the first things they normally do is they stop watching TV and they stop listening to worldly music. And the reason is, is because when you listen to garbage, your mind becomes a tip. Your mind becomes a garbage bin. But when you listen to truth, your mind becomes, you know, a river of truth. You know, guys, whatever you put in here will come out. You know, guys, if you don't take those thoughts captive, those thoughts will take you captive. Hallelujah. You know, guys, just like if you don't take those demons captive that are attacking you, if you don't take them a captive and rebuke them, then those demons will take you captive and they will attack you. You know, guys, hallelujah. You know, guys, I hope that you're understanding what, you know, um, I'm sharing here tonight. That you've got to stand up and fight. You know, guys, yes, go to the Lord when you need help. It's true. You know, guys, normally when you go to the Lord and say, God, give me help, help me in this situation. He will normally guide you to start attacking those thoughts, attacking those demons. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. You know, guys, because, you know, guys, there are some fights that, there are some battles that we need to fight. We need to use God's authority. 
you know guys hallelujah obviously there are times in our life where we're completely you know defeated or whatever here and there and god will intervene but there are other times you know guys where god needs us to participate god needs us to do something just like moses you know like with using the staff you know guys just like gideon using the shofar and the, the oil lanterns you know guys like just like david and goliath you know god could have just sent a lightning bolt and split goliath's head right in half in front of everyone he was mocking the creator of the universe but no david stepped out in faith he picked up a sling and a rock and he shot it and it you know got him right in the head you know guys hallelujah what about noah noah's ark god could have easily just made the animals you know fly up into the sky the ones that he wanted and he could have just killed everyone and he could have just made some new you know men you know out of a, out of the dust of the earth but no god used noah he built an ark you know guys you can see time and time again you know guys hallelujah that god you know it, you know god expects us to do something and in the same way you know jesus made an open show of the devil on the cross at golgotha calvary you know guys we are we are fighting a defeated foe it's true but now we need to pick up our cross deny ourselves and follow after him we need to you know rebuke the enemy day by day you know guys hallelujah you know god exists outside of time satan is defeated in eternity he, he knows it's finished but here on the face of planet earth we live day by day so we need to enforce the victory of the cross you know guys in our everyday life you know guys you know guys letting demons put thoughts in your mind you know guys and, and letting demons run rampant in your in your in your soul your mind will and emotion you know guys you will reap you know guys demonic attacks and all that stuff but if you just simply take your thoughts captive take every thought captive in your obedience to christ that exalts itself above the knowledge of the truth you know, and if you put on the helmet of salvation, put on the armor of God, if you spend time with the Lord, you will have peace. Hallelujah. And you will be walking in His presence and authority. You know, guys, I know this message is for someone today. Someone's, you know, saying, God, help me. God, help me. You know, um, you know, these demons are just giving me crazy thoughts and, and they're just attacking me and, and all this stuff. And, you know, guys, I believe God is saying to someone today, my son my daughter you need to start taking those thoughts captive you need to start saying to those de demonic thoughts get out in jesus name you know guys you need to tell them to get out you need to take thoughts captive put on the armor of god hallelujah praise the lord jesus loves you so much i know this message is so for someone today someone's going through a really hard time but you know guys Take a, take a stand in Christ. Take a leap of faith and attack those demons and you will get a victory every time. Because the name of Jesus will destroy demonic attacks, destroy demonic thoughts, will destroy demonic strongholds every time. Because the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty in the pulling down of strongholds. Hallelujah. You know, guys, fight for your peace. Attack those demons in your mind hallelujah you know guys jesus loves you and thanks for watching guys bye